I'm very happy today to be able to uh, present the uh, 2019 Food and Agricultural Sciences Award to Elizabeth Ainsworth of the USDA Agricultural Research Service. Today, we are uh, honoring Lisa for her pioneering research, unraveling how anthropogenic atmospheric changes affect the physiology and growth of crops, and for being a science ambassador and a role model for the next generation of scientists. By awarding Lisa the Food and Agriculture Prize today, we hope to promote the message that climate change is real and must be addressed if we are indeed to have a future. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I'm humbled to be here, and I'd like to thank the National Academy of Sciences, the Foundation for Food and Agricultural Research, uh, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for this award. I would also like to thank the USDA Agricultural Research Service support for supporting my career, as well as the truly synergistic partnership between the University of Illinois and the USDA ARS that supported long-term research that's allowed us to um, do, the, do the work. I'm very grateful for a terrific mentorship from all of my colleagues at the USDA ARS and the University of Illinois, um, especially Steve Long and Don Ort. Um, I'm not receiving this award for anything that I did alone, and I thank all of the wonderful students, postdocs, and collaborators who have worked with me. My family supports me every single day, and I thank you very much for that. Um, I'm not receiving this award, or I am receiving this award, award in large part because I've had the great privilege and op of opportunities to share my research with the general public, from camps serving junior high girls, to hosting citizen scientists, to meeting farmers and reporters. If we are to tackle the grand challenges of agriculture, adapting crops to global climate change, reducing the environmental impact of agriculture, and nutritiously feeding a growing population, we need the support of the public. To gain that support, we must engage and offer meaningful dialogue, and we have to have solutions. So I'm excited to keep working on this challenge, and thank you very much. <laughs> 